<laughs> okay, let's make a start for um, this afternoon. Uh, next presentation is from a company called Blipper, which are augmented uh, reality company. I think one of the leading apps in the world we are on this. Are, I think. Uh, and I'd like to introduce Dan Sodegrim, uh, who's Blip Party Evangelist, I was told. So uh, he's going to infuse you with all sorts of stuff in all sorts of different ways. Um, okay, so uh, mobile augmented reality. Um, the power to unlock the physical world around us. Um, potentially, tremendously powerful stuff. Amazing stuff, uh, but it's more important that maybe that I just show you it rather than uh, harp on. Now, it should be as easy as this, but you never know who these live demonstrations So, do you, you see what happened there? No, Let's we'll see it a bit quick. Okay, cool, everyone pay attention. So, there's the print material, there's the iPad goes over the top, plays a live experience. So, uh, let's say it would uh, want something different. Let's say Heinz from our ketchup. Always the way I'm going to be doing it in my day, Gary. Yeah? They're the faces we like, yes. That's, right. <laughs> <laughs> that's the face we like. You can then move it away, uh, because obviously it's now anywhere, and then of course you can have a bit of a play around with it, open it up, uh, flick through, then download, go to video, download it. Okay? Yeah, pretty much that's me done, really. Um, so, you know, can you can you see the potential of it? Uh, most probably straight away. Um, other things you can do, let's have a look at this one. So, the geolocation on that. Uh, or geolocational example. You may have seen these adverts uh, on bus stops, etc. <laughs> you can then buy it, and then you can race it home. Once you bought it from Domino's, or of course you can go to the local store. Uh, it will then show you the geolocation exactly where it is. It then sticks to it. Yeah. Can everyone see the idea? There are millions and millions of different applications for this, but um, I'm going to show you a few other ones later on um, if I've got time. Hopefully, we will have time to. Um, I guess I'll just get a PC. Is that right? Yep. Cool. So, cool, you've seen it now. So, what is Blipper? Obviously, it's a technology. Um, it's a world beating technology. You've seen how it works. It's the fastest in the world today with the uh, just a huge uh, number of applications. It's got the broadest range of applications from the back end of it. And it's measurable to the very last blip. So, if you're into marketing or branding or advertising in any way, uh, this is the future. So, we're thinking now that it's just going to be one massive platform, like Twitter, like Facebook, a little bit like Google. Content here, of course, is therefore king. Um, and what we want people to be talking about is that you blip stuff. You find content, you see the B, and everything is blippable. Um, this is going to be a verb, it's going to be adopted by everyone, hopefully you guys will be saying it in a few years to come. Um, it's quite a fun thing. We don't really talk about augmented reality too much, we talk about blipping, because this is the future. Bit more about the company itself. We're a global leader in the space. Uh, hundreds of paying clients. We're pretty big. Going to be global. All over in America. Um, it's pretty cool. So it could be especially powerful in gaming. If we, have, if we have time, I'll show you that clip. In fact, we can have time on. Let's do it. Let's do it now. So it's just, this is just me showing off. No, no, I'll do it later. I'll do it later because otherwise I'll get told off because I know we're going to run out of time. So I'll do it later. So I'll show you that one. How that one works. So Blip is quite new, a year or two old. Um, and I love this quote. I sell here, sir, what all the world desires, to have power. And that's a very, very egotistical claim, not made by me, made by this chap. Anyone know who, what he did in the world at any point? He's probably come to something, I don't know, maybe just walking. Um, Matthew Bolton, he basically invented this. He was talking about power, steam power. What I'm talking about today is literally the power to recharge print advertising and to supercharge all advertising. It's insane what this thing can do. And that's what I said 2012. So, it's an advertising revolution. Really, we're living in these times. What's this? Anyone know what this is? Pretty easy one for you. Exactly, the printing press. And who is this? Unbelievably clever audience. Fantastic. And, and, and what was his favourite colour? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be green. It's going to be It's now a bigger thing than I ever thought it would be. Um, what did it help happen, the old printing press? You could say, any ideas who that chap is? <coughs> Martin Luther? 
You could say it caused the Protestant Reformation. You could say from that we actually got capitalism. Uh, if you look at Davis sociology, religions, etc. So it caused quite a lot. So around for the printing press. God bless it. But how old was it? It's pretty old. <laughs> older than him. So it's about 500 years old, I'm familiar. So, that, did you just put that on your own phone? Oh, no, you just knew. You just knew. Oh, oh. Just knew. oh. that's just knowledge. You don't need mobile. Well, that's just knowledge. That's fantastic. Great. Um, what about this one? How old is the internet itself? Anything? I don't know, by the way, because it's a bit of a woolly term. Depends when you start. Depends when you say exactly. Depends if it's start the car or car um, You then have Google. We know how old Google is. Anyone? Facebook? Anyone? Excellent. Cool. I don't really know the answer. Uh, Twitter? <laughs> the point being is they're all getting shorter, aren't they? And I think that's the main. 600. 6.5 is a flight. That's really started. Um, of course, the point is, they're all much quicker and, of course, uh, maybe potentially cleverer. Um, but, of course, this thing is pretty old. So it needs this. Why do we want to save print? Well, the print medium itself, I had uh, someone talk to me a couple of days ago and said, well, print will die out soon. And I think they're fundamentally wrong. I don't think it will die out. It will change. This will bring about a change, but it won't itself die out. And even if print dies out, the visual image itself, unless the whole world goes blind, can't die. It's just part of our experience. <coughs> Consumers tend to like printed magazine adverts, like it more than anything else. Now you could argue there's no such thing as good advertising, because that's a different and much bigger point. Consumers tend to like it uh, a bit more. They also like things that marketeers make, people like myself or creative agencies make, rather than user-generated content design. <coughs> so, big thing to think about, please write down, it's not a QR code. This is not a QR code. These are three reasons why it's not. Number one, QR codes tend to be to static experiences. I don't have to say what it means. I have to explain what QR code is. Of course, goes to the URL. Blips can stream anything you want. Okay? That's massively important, especially from a gaming point of view. Okay? QR codes are not by... Well, you can get geolocational, but not inherently geolocational. Blips are. So you know exactly where people have blipped. I like to call them culturally tagged. You also get the time. Now, in the future, you might even be getting even more rich data from where people have blipped different advertising or different uh, points of interest. QR codes are ugly. Yes, they are. They're ugly. And I don't blame them. That last point, of course, is just me. Um, blips are not. They're beautiful because anything is now blippable. Any image in the world is now blippable. You can blip off anything. If you're a, you're a game, any Americans in the audience? No? Uh, yeah. Ernest is gone. You're oh, right. fair enough. Well, congratulations <laughs> anyway. They did some good um, anyway, um, you can blip on anything. He had a five dollar bill. You can blip off that, because you can. So if you find a five dollar bill, we'll try to do that one at the end. And it, uh, it shows you the Ob uh, Obama campaign. So, know thyself. Another question for you. Who might have said know thyself? Cool. Well, have a prize. Whoever can think about who actually said that and give me a date by the end. Ah, okay. Who said know myself? Who said this? Again, me, I just said it. <laughs> no bar, but fair enough. Um, so, who do I work for? Of course, the Flipper. This is a brief history. Uh, legend has it they came up with this idea, or certainly um, started playing around with this idea in technology more. Um, he wanted to show off the mates, and what they did, uh, my two, uh, my CEO and my CTO, they changed their face, and they put their face on, on a £10 note to show the, the kind of technology and how cool it was, and showed it off in the pub, and everyone was very impressed, and then became the company. A legend has it. So, <laughs> Blip has grown. <laughs> Blip has grown from three to thirty people in less than what, but just over a year. And how do I know? Because I'm the thirtieth. <laughs> uh, so literally about four weeks in. I do talks uh, for people like this. I run around the place. I used to run my own marketing agencies. Um, run my own AR agency. I've been quite a bit. So that's me, right? So why don't I come and work for Blipper? Well, number one, they are the best in the realm. Um, this is just a fact, because we used to work with seven different AR platforms, and they have the best technology. Uh, they've won awards for it, uh, they've got the best ideas, they've won awards for those, and the best company. They haven't won any awards yet, they're going to be going here. Um, these kind of awards they've won, I won't go through them all, because there's actually loads of them. Fair play to them. So, why did I tell you all that? Well, I'll just show um, And also, I want to make sure that you can all ask me questions, I would say, maybe at the end. Um, I can't stick around for too long, however, um, to prior engagement. Therefore, I've got loads of cards, just grab the cards off me, or write down dan at blipper.com, email me. I'm their evangelist, I'm happy to answer any questions you have. 
Okay. The other thing is, some of those slides show you what I believe you need in modern marketing. And this is really important. You need to be a specialist in what you know, but also you need to have your social as standard. Okay. I try to make sure things are a bit more fun, so therefore social is a standard thing that we do. And also the importance of mobile. Now, normally now in a creative agency moment, I would be teaching about why mobile is so important, but you all know. You know why mobile is so important. Social is standard. You know these stats, which will be off by heart, but one in seven minutes to spend online is spent on Facebook. You'll know these are far what they're teaching. 94% of students are on social media platforms. My concern is, or my wonder is, who the hell are the other people? Who are the other 6% who are on these social media platforms? It's interesting to see how they So think about Blipper as that bridge point between print, anything that you can print, or any visual experience almost, to social. And you start thinking about the power of it. <laughs> Blipper is that bridge point. Okay? It's mobile stuff. A few classic mobile stats for you, because I love it. 4.8 billion people now own a mobile phone. 4.2 billion own a toothbrush. <laughs> that, isn't that? Worrying on so many levels. That's so awful and also so true. This one uh, scares people. British school children are reported to be more confident using an iPhone than tying their own shoelaces. <laughs> Word of a lie, it's a Guardian report. That's scary. <coughs> Worrying and, and don't, please don't say there's going to be an app for tying shoelaces. I'm sure it will. That's a good idea. Um, January 2012, more people, sorry, let's put it this way, more iPhones are sold per day than people were born in the world. Right? No, no. Yes, wait, yes, wait, Google it, yes, wait, wait, Google it. yes, easy. <laughs> scary. That's on a day, of course, but that's still pretty scary. So Blipper is that bridge point between old school print and mobile. That's why we're in that space. Okay. So, another cool bridge. <laughs> <laughs> bridges, you remember? <laughs> This is the global movement, of course. This is the global movement. And this is really important. You may have talked about it in your studies and things, but maybe you haven't. We're now in this age of the consumer. Yeah? Consumer power and customers. This is the age we're in. We've moved past the Google moment and the age of information. I think this is a hugely important kind of tidal wave shift that's happening. Mobile, of course, is local. Um, and location can be massively important. So in gaming, etc. This is the future. Um, I've showed you the location blitz. I've done that now, so that's good. Um, Mobile, of course, is a hot point. We know about entertainment. 125 years of Angry Birds played every day. I think that's a scary stat. I only actually played myself last month. That's how weird it is. Weird, but it's true. It's quite addictive, actually. Anyway, um, so, of course, we do games as well. So you can blip into a gaming experience. And I'll show you that one at the end if we have time. So mobile's even more than that. Most people here, I'm 97%, so I'd be very surprised. But what about this one? Does anyone start to panic a bit? If you haven't got your mobile phone, with you. yeah. Anyone start to panic a lot? Who, who's actually left the house and gone back to get their mobile in case they've forgotten it? Anyone? Some people here wouldn't sort of go, "No, I wouldn't even dare to leave the house without my mobile phone." That's exactly it. No, I've done that. walked back. Why not on way? Most of us sleep with our mobile phones near to us. Cindy Gallup, beautiful thing she said: "Mobile are the extensions of ourselves." But this is this is just the case. We love notifications because they make us feel loved and special. That's why people like notifications. Some people think they're intrusive. But this is what Cindy Gallup says. And this is my favourite stat. Please do Google it and check it. 30% um, of women would rather give up sex than their mobile phone. That's 30%. Okay. Men, 13%. Which I think says something. Uh, but maybe not everything. Uh, but it's still a scary stat. And I can't tell you exactly what that is, but it's certainly a big one. But businesses aren't keeping up with it. So there is a massive mobile opportunity. Remember, Blipper is the bridge. Yeah. And a local bridge, exactly. Bring it to the local bridge. <laughs> Tough thing. Okay, cool. Uh, so, these brands together. All these brands together. These are the guys that we work with. We work with some pretty big brands. Important things to remember is this, though. Obviously, it's a bridge one. We're also a platform. Okay? Hugely important. We're not augmenting all of reality. Okay? All these guys probably would have seen things with geolocation stuff. I'll tell you why. We're not right now. We work primarily with visual discovery because that's what we can deliver on right now, making print come alive. Now that's exciting enough, believe you me, that's exciting enough. So, we're not just augmented reality, we're not that in just in particular, we're not just AR, we're visual discovery. We don't really like the term AR in some respects. It's a bit old, it's a bit clumsy. When I talk to people about augmented reality, they tend to glaze over a bit. They're all going, well, what? And they just get confused. This is completely different. If you talk about making print come alive and you show them it, you don't even need to mention augmented reality. You don't need to. They just go, my God, that's perfect. 
as you all did before. So, AR itself has got lots of different applications as well. So we do mobile visual discovery. Think this thing, I mean, this is an interesting one. What do you think is best, because you guys are creative? What about this one, print magic? Can you put your hand up, you know, so I'll show you all three. Harry Pottification of print. <laughs> CMO made that one. I'll show you at the end why that is. Or supercharging print with mobile. Out of those three, in fact, you can think of some other ones as well, please do it. But out of those three, we have a few like print magic, print coming alive. One person, one very definite person, two people go, oh, I don't know now. Maybe not. Cool. Uh, Harry Pottification of print. Okay. And the last one, supercharging print with mobile. Who didn't understand what I said before? This is the other thing, you'll think about the hype cycle. You'll have learned more about this, I imagine, but think about augmented reality's hype cycle. There are different parts of AR in the world, and they're going through these uh, hype cycle at different rates. But mobile visual discovery is right now, it's happening right now, and we're going to go through that pattern of, uh, of discovery. It's going to be a fantastic time. And how do we know? Well, so far on the app, we've had 1.3 million people have downloaded it. Uh, it's a free app, so if you've got a smartphone, please do download Flipper now on your smartphone. Good. Excellent, that's 1.3 million and one. Fantastic, thank you. Um, I wish that just went ding in the game one, that would be nice. Um, cool. uh, 93 percent of it tends to be on the iPhone. The most important bit really from a marketing point of view is the average dwell time. Because people blip into these experiences, they're engaging at a completely new level, and 2.5 minutes of engagement is the average. Let everyone see the power of that moment. How many people here would actually sit for a TV ad for two and a half minutes? Especially if you've got Skype Plus, I suppose. If you've got Skype Plus, you can zip forward. Did anyone here watch YouTube stuff for more than two and a half minutes? Ish, depending on what it is, but if it's really good. You don't tend to. Anyone here look at a print ad for more than two and a half minutes? If you do, you're wasting your time because it's just a print ad. Uh, so, so, what did Blipper do? I've explained it a bit and you've seen it. So, press, we've worked on. Advertising, logos, billboards, product packaging and gaming, <coughs> merchandising and gaming, this is where it's all going to be going. Off your, off your business cards. In fact, to you here, if you've got an Oyster card, you can flip your Oyster card and find out whether it's the nearest tube station, etc. That's live right now. There's millions of things you can do. Please do right now as well. You can do this off web pages. So you can do it off the web page, on each other. So, you can flip off pretty much anything that exists in that real world. What can we do? You can flip to view. Exclusive video, content. This is what I thought you guys would be most interested in. Blip to play, in terms of 3D gaming. Blip to discover, which is all about storytelling. Um, I'm not going to ask if anyone here is a fan of Justin Bieber. Um, is anyone here a fan of Justin Bieber? Yeah, thank like, well, God, even better. JB, as he's known to me. <coughs> he's more known than God. Yeah, that's what they were saying. I don't know if you can Google that. Apparently, he's more known than God. That's that's worth worrying on many levels. And um, what you can do, if you've got a CD, uh, we might do this later, you can flip the CD and then you can go into an interactive experience, you can have your picture taken next to it, and then pop it into Facebook, if you so wish. Well, everyone here obviously wants to do that, I understand that, it's your own personal choice. Um, so the blip to discover, what else have we got? Blip to cheat, we're reading different answers, you can blip stuff and the Sudoku answers can come up, or crossword puzzles can come up. What else can we think about? Well, blip to buy, you know, you don't have to blip it, that's the beauty of it, you don't have to blip it. So, what else do you do? Flip to buy, take any bit of print medium, make it into a buying experience, so they could then download your game or buy your game. Flip for directions, make it part of a game. It's a whole new level. Flip to download things, as we just talked about, and maybe even flip to win for different competitions. If you flip, or if we have time to flip off the $5 bill, uh, then you can, it goes interactive and you can high five uh, back of her partner, let's say Barack Obama. So, you can then high five him from today. What a fantastic speech. Did anyone, did anyone see the speech we did today? Amazing speech. Anyway, so, it's all about this effective storytelling. Will it work in gaming? Well, I, I put this in today, it's only happened, it's going to happen this evening. Who here has picked up a copy of Shortlist recently? T -t Tomorrow, Shortlist will be purely about retro gaming. They've only just allowed me to tell you about this because it is actually an exclusive, it is actually an LC exclusive. No one else knows about this. You know, in the next hour, this will be coming out, and it's an interactive game. Okay, so you blip the front cover and it turns into an old school game. Which is not a bad example of how you use it in gaming. It only happens, <laughs> literally is happening right now. So will it work? Who said this? The, the medium is the message. Anyone know who said Marshall this? Marshall McLuhan. Excellent. 
again, that's similar to it's three out of three, you're a plant, and I know this. That boss is broad. I know it. You make things good. Cool. So, augmented reality, just like ordinary reality, just more so. In my opinion, just more so. So, what about the future? It's all about the future today. The future is everywhere, and of course, I won't say, does anyone know the quote? Because it is a classic. I'm paraphrasing. So, the future is everywhere, just unevenly distributed. So this stuff already exists out there. I wanted to make sure that you guys are a bit ahead of the curve. There's loads of different stuff. So think Terminator Vision. <laughs> think ordinary reality. Of course you get. Well, mess with it. Awesome. <laughs> you then get things like this. That would be augmented reality. You then find out the information. So, it's not been perfect. And I'll give you guys this slide. It's not been perfect. There are a variety of different things that have, uh, that have kind of slowed down AR's uptake. But now we're at that wonderful moment where all this is coming to pass. Because technology only gets quicker. More and more people are getting smartphones. The tools are already out there. They already exist as a platform. You can all now start using <coughs> Biggest reason is this reason. Guerrilla marketing. Some of the principles, some of the principles of uh, neurolinguistic programming as well. Everyone here heard of guerrilla marketing? How to market yourself with very little money? No? Right now if you haven't. It's quite a good principle. So, not that, of course, that would be silly. Uh, that's a gorilla. <laughs> so, it's all about thinking about how you get into people's heads. Not necessarily how you confuse them, but how they think. It's not about tricking them. It's about something deeper than that. It's about how the mind works. And this is why mobile is so powerful, why augmented reality is so powerful, and visual discovery is so powerful, because you have that moment of wham. It makes a highly personal and positive impact. And that's really important. It's about creating a relationship with your potential customer. So your future, what could your future be? Mm, interesting. Could be this. Could be this. Could be social augmented reality. Could be. Could be geolocation, could be social, could be facial recognition, could be all these things. This is what will start happening, could be. So, hold up your phone, or maybe blink your eye. Has anyone else seen the guy from Paris who has got it embedded into his skull, this camera thing? Have a look. Have a look at some of the pictures of it as well. So that was a bit freaky. Um, but of course, the yeah. early doctors sometimes have. So, the knowledge of joining a crowd. So you put up your phone, you think to yourself, who are these people? Well, good, who do I know here? I mean, number one, you should know them anyway, because you're seeing them. Okay. More information from them. Who do I need to get to know? And I'll think about how you could potentially do that with things like LinkedIn and social media, and LinkedIn, and other information. Oh, by the way, my dad thinks this is the scariest world in the world. He thinks it's awful. It's going to be a terrible time. It all depends on which side of the fence you're on, I suppose. Who should I get to know? My favourite one. Who here is single? Uh, that is a scary app, but it does exist, by the way. It's a spoon picture, and very scary. And my favourite one. Are there any naked pictures of them on the internet? Uh, <laughs> you can do an instant Google search. So, the thing with all technological change, I'm aware of it for that very long, so the thing with all technological change is this. Who really becomes empowered? I think that's the bigger question. So, who also becomes empowered? Potentially. I actually think it's going to be a wonderful world that we're going to move into. But some people are looking and saying it's going to become a dark place, a terrible place. I think this is nonsense. People said exactly the same thing with things like the spinning jenny. People love it. You know, don't get me wrong. Things moved on, and of course, with all revolutions, things happen. It's always do. But more importantly, you know, some people might lose jobs, some people might gain jobs. This is the way the world is. You should be on this side because it's only going to go forward. So, as designers, creatives, and developers, we all choose. We choose science. Okay? I think we can actually make the place a much, much better place. The world a better and safer and more beautiful place using augmented reality. That's telling me I've got five minutes. Or will we? Everyone seen Google Project Glass? We've all seen that. If you haven't, write it down. Just go and YouTube it, have a look. Um, some people think that's a version of hell, some people think it's wonderful. It all depends if you work for Google or not, I suppose, in some respects. But it's interesting thing. The last thing to think about with that Google Glasses idea, because we are talking about the future here is I'm amazed by this. They showed the video, and a third of consumers are undecided on the merits of the technology. Australia. Would they actually buy them? One in six people said they would buy them. A bit of a big gender split here as well. Uh, interestingly, a quarter of men uh, were happy to do it. A quarter of all men were happy to do it. One in ten women would be happy to do it. I don't know why they need have a bit of a chat about that later on. But my point is, I suppose, is this. A quarter of men have already said that they don't mind the idea of it. So people will start utilizing this technology tomorrow if it exists. Does anyone know when Google uh, plans to bring out the technology? No, I don't either. <laughs> uh -huh. 
He knew that. Uh, but it could be in a year. I, I could even be two. Who knows? The future right now, however, is Blipper. <coughs> that exists. It exists right now. You can go download the app. I say shortlist is out tonight. So you can have a bit of a look through. As a behavior, we want you guys to be going out there and interacting with this static world. So it can work off pretty much anything. <coughs> okay? The business itself is growing and growing. If you are a developer or you're interested in thinking about and utilizing technology, do email me. <coughs> and as Barack Obama said this morning, the best is yet to come. Um, I thought it was rather cool speech. So let me show you. Number one, thanks so much for, uh, for that. Does that kind of teach you a bit about the technology and about the mobile stuff? Yes. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Let me show you some of the other clips that we've done, if I can make it work instantly with this. And has anyone got any questions? Uh, I've got a couple of questions from the net. Sure. Um, it says, how is augmented reality being used to tell interactive narrative and its effectiveness? So, how's it being used to show stories <laughs> yeah. and to bring things alive? Yeah. Um, pretty much that's, that's what it does as, as its job, I suppose. Yeah. How creative are the agencies that are using it? I think there's a potential to be a lot cleverer, I think, without being too silly about it. Remember, we've only been going for a year and a half with 220 campaigns. So, these, for example, we've done it with Shortlist and you can flip to buy trainers. But I would have thought it would be quite interesting if you could flip to buy, but it could also come out and it'd spin around. Mm. So, that, and that's just that's 3D. It's doable, it's very, very doable. But You've got to think about what are the aims of the blip itself. So to sell more trainers, would you sell more because it was 3D or was that just me liking the fact that it become a 3D thing? Yeah. Um, I think people that are starting to use it in the gaming experience would be tremendously powerful because then the game tells a story as well mm -hmm. and because you can then engage with things. Mm -hmm. So there are quite a few examples. In fact, there's 200 examples of people using to extend the marketing story. Yeah, are the creatives <coughs> engaging in this? Because there was a one with Panasonic with a blipper campaign. Literally, all it did was made the thing come up, which I looked at and went, oh. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, but it's exactly the same, which is why I always use the printing press and I just start yeah. off with. You know, what people then do with the printing press is kind of up to them. So I can't really say to them, well, this is a bad book. You know, this is a bad genre. You know, I don't believe in that version of the Bible you wrote. I mean, I just, you just can't say it. But what I would say is, it, the technology is there and the human capability is to produce something fantastic and marvelous with it. And people will. I think we can definitely start pushing back the boundaries, especially now with 4G. There's loads of stuff on the stuff there. Mm -hmm. um, does anyone want to see any of the... Oh, I could do... I'm thinking about my cat. I've got time. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? Sorry. Yeah, please. Can you explain us how it works? Yeah. Oh, because I, I downloaded it <coughs> and I cannot use it. Cool. Right, okay, cool. So it could be three things. What did you download it on, potentially? No, we are trying to make it. On a, on a computer? Yeah. No. So that's easy. That's easy to feel. No. So mobile. So mobile augmented reality, mobile video discovery, only on a mobile phone. Not with the iPad. With iPad? Cool. Um, but we, we try to blip the computer. Right, okay, cool. So it's blipping off the screen that is tricky. All depends, I suppose, and it could be two things really. It could be on the angle of the screen, because that could change the variables. I think it could go up to about 20%, or it could change the colors. Okay. So if you think about the actual yeah. markers are different colours. That's it. Yeah. 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 What was the BB campaign? Must have before my time, so I do not know the answer. That's the honest <laughs> truth. But what you could do, I think most of the campaigns are on YouTube, so you could easily find out from there. Um, I don't know. But we are agnostic as a platform, so we don't get involved in political arguments. For example, we did both uh, Romney and Obama's campaigns. Um, I won't say which one I like the most. Um, <laughs> from a creative point of view, I think there are some interesting things that were done by both parties. That was good. Uh, I that was really good. I was really proud of myself. How level headed are they? <coughs> yes, Pat. Oh, no, you're just chewing a pen. Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. So, the mobile experience itself, you'd need a 3G connection. Uh, which is pretty much standard nowadays anyway. Uh, but yeah, certainly you need to be online. But however, you can, it can save the blips and you can then interact with them later on. But you also don't have to hold it over the image. You can move away from the image afterwards. So if you continue the experience, you would need to be online. Gentlemen at the back. Are the blips just for adverts and stuff like that? Yeah, uh, I, 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 
I love the way you said that. There will be a time you just do it on someone's face. Um, <laughs> yes and no, I think is the best way of looking at that. Will there be such a thing as facial recognition? Cool. Does, does it exist already? Did Facebook have to stop it after in September? Yeah, because it's a invasion, and they, they think it's an invasion, uh, invasion of privacy, maybe so. I think there will be a future, potentially in AR, where it can recognize your face, yes. Certainly it recognize a picture of your face, yes. Yeah, you might have to shout, though, sorry. Again, you might have to shout, sorry. Integration of near field technology. I, I heard, and would it integrate with NFT? Yes and no again. Uh, I certainly can't speak for Blipper as a company about whether that's what they want to do, but it has the potential to, of course. Absolutely. Um, because it's all through the mobile experience, so yeah, absolutely. There's also potential of geolocational things and different variables you could bring in as well. But as I say, as a company, we do visual discovery at this moment in time. Uh, basically, we're using Blipper to see things advertised. It's not a, it's a, it's a biased. Uh, opinion of your company, isn't it? It's not a... Uh... Sorry, your question is extremely good, but I didn't really understand it. Oh, okay. I, I don't understand what you're trying to say. Uh, it's, it's biased. It's all advertising. There is a, there is a... As a company, do we yeah. mainly work with advertisers? Yes. It is. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So, so what benefit is there to look at a pound note? I mean, if I want to find out the history absolutely. of a pound note, I can't get it. Okay, again, so your question is, and that is, correct me if I'm wrong, that here. is just advertising. Yes, yeah. what is the point so of just advertising? To see that, adverts. Cool, your point is, what is the point of just advertising? Okay. No, I that's suppose, what you're doing, it's just yeah. marketing. And I suppose my point really was you make it a deeper experience, which isn't just about advertising. So if someone blips on an advert and it becomes a game, is that still just advertising? Or are you giving them a value experience? <laughs> we don't just do advertising campaigns, you're absolutely right. We do do quite a bit of charity work as well, and we do some public sector stuff. The focus of the company, however, is definitely to work mainly and primarily with advertisers in the short term. In the longer term, anything can become better. You're absolutely right, though, because yeah, you're right, you always do. It doesn't sell anything, it just gives you information. There's no advertising. Well, it doesn't tell you anything, it does tell you something. Yeah, it's 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 yeah absolutely. It's, it's a utility. But it's a thing that I advertising for people as well, isn't it? So it does work advertising. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so I, 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 I was trying to get at it isn't, but it is because it's showing the advantage of using the product. I love it. So that you'll use it on different things. Like, things so. As a employer. Oh, well, I think we should. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I see. I love it. And games. Uh, question on the back. <coughs> and can Absolutely you no chance. Sorry, not in bad words. Yes, yes, we can. Let us have a look at you. Um, so, if I don't, let's have a look. See if I can get two bits of technology to work at the same time. Oh. So, let's have a look and see if the five dollar thing will work at the same time. Let's see if it works. So, oh, oh, yeah, you see, and that's why I need a beautiful system. Okay, so. Aha, right. So five dollar bill on here, obviously it's not a real one, there's a five dollar bill there. And you look at the five dollar bill, and there's the Rackers campaign. Okay? You can then move away from the print media to there. And it still stays alive. Now could I also once again ask you, my friend, this to be a most beautiful assistant. I'll see if this one goes live. There you go. So you can then. <laughs> Chris, <laughs> Chris, <laughs> Chris, <laughs> where am I? Can you just high five Barack Obama? Everyone tell him exactly where they should be. Higher, lower. Hi, Stacey. Hi, Chris. 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 Hi, Chris.
And that's the other thing, folks. You've got to be a little bit. Uh, you know, we create the experiences. We don't do anything else. Do you, do you have a clause in there that says that you're not responsible for? for Absolutely. Do? Yeah, of course. Because you know the way you do it, we see it because we're not really the publisher, the platform. Yeah. We're a little bit like a wall, and the people want to inscribe graffiti. Of course, we, you know, it's not our fault they inscribe. So let's hope they do something beautiful. With it. Of course, it's just a wall. And this one is a complete exclusive. So I don't know if I'll just instantly pick it up. I don't know when. Because it's actually a some newspaper out there. You can see. This literally might not have gone live now. So we'll see. No, I haven't made it live yet. I just want to show it off. Yeah. Well, what it does, it basically looks at the different frequencies in the page and then pulls up the information from it. But if it hasn't gone live yet, because the newspaper isn't out this evening, maybe I think it is. <laughs> maybe I should not have shown it yet. Um, but you'd actually see it in real life, it would look a little bit like this. And then you'd actually play the actual game itself. So, oh, uh, this is a nice one to know. It's like, I didn't dare to do this. I didn't dare grow a moustache myself in November. I started to look a bit too much like a pirate. And I just couldn't do it. Um, however, they then came up with this. So this was off shortlist as well. You then click the button, so you click the try. Find a different nose, so it's loading, and then again, created by me. I know, it wouldn't work at all. It's not good with me. It would be ridiculous. Let's pick it just Sir, can I? May I borrow you for a second? Let me get the camera out. So, Roy. Again, everyone, when's he going to be closer? Is he closer? It's close enough. Oh, it's close enough. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> the revolution. We now have Jez Mendes, so there you go. So that's what you can do. That is the fun side of it. Um, but who, I'm just about to um, I've got one question from the net. Okay. Yeah, sorry. Uh, what limitations are there of augmented reality at this current time? So what limitations are there? Yeah. Definitely bringing in uh, Sir's question at the back. Yeah, facial recognition of moving imagery in that respect. Yeah, that's a limitation. Yeah. Um, I think the technology will exist somewhere. Um, it's not part of what Blipper do, part of Blipper's toolkit. I, I kind of don't want to talk about these things. I, I'm really unaware that the future is out there. I understand that. Yeah. But sometimes we're too preoccupied with the future in the future. I, this is delivering right now. So you can utilize it right now. So when you start thinking about the limitations, I think you might be thinking in a slightly wrong way. How can we utilize it to the fullest now and be the most creative with it now before we even think about facial recognition? And facial recognition brings up a whole paradigm of legal issues and protection. Yeah. So I think it's more important to come up with good ideas to use it, and then you can make the technology to use it. Well, we like to say in paper, it's not really about the technology, it's about what people are going to do with it. Uh, it's the same with YouTube, same with Twitter, same with all these platforms. Cool. Does that all make sense? Anyone else got any more questions? No, that's, oh, that's, that's about it. Thank you very much. That was good. Yeah. <laughs> so I think you've got uh, Dan's uh, email. If not, you can get in touch with me and we can forward uh, that on. Forward it on to you. Yeah.